Okay, so now I feel like we're all on the same page. We know what we're doing. Let's we know what we want to do, and we kind of know how we want it to work. Uh, but I know at this point, if you don't have a background in any sort of like logical engineering or programming, you kind of feel like this all sounds great, but where is the magic coming from? Like, how are we going to achieve this? Uh, and the answer is one: I've already built an Android app, which is in the store. The links down below or wherever it is, you'll be able to see it. Um, and the second part of this is just the hardware that we have to put together. And then we have to put a little bit of software on it, but I'll tell you how to do that. Don't freak out. Uh, I already wrote all the software and stuff. So the question that comes to mind is, okay, so we've got a phone app and we got some hardware, but what is this hardware? You know, it, let me see it. Okay, wish granted. It's this. That. Okay, this is an Arduino Uno. Uh, for the rest of the tutorial, I probably will just call it an Arduino. This is the most popular model. They have other Arduino products, just not just the Uno, they got other boards. But this is like your base standard model. It's everywhere. There's a lot of support for it. Um, and we don't need anything more than this particular item for this project. And it's super cheap, you know, like $10. Um, so that's not bad because this is actually literally a fully functioning computer. Look again, it's fully functioning for $10. Um, and it has a lot of really cool features. The cool features that we're talking about is you might have noticed it has these little rails on the sign. And I know you can't see it because the video quality is terrible. By the way, if I keep doing these videos, I'll improve like the editing and the camera and stuff like that. So don't flip out. Anyways, um, there are little holes, and what happens is you can stick uh, wires down in these holes. And also, you can't see it because the camera is terrible. The holes are labeled. All right, so I think you see where this is going. Basically, we can control electrical inputs and outputs from this board. And we can write the code, being that I will write it, and then you'll just put it you know, on the Arduino. And then the software that I've written will drive this device, device and allow us to operate things called servos. <coughs> Okay, so what is a servo? Okay, you've probably heard about them because, you know, if, you've, if you have the internet, you've probably heard about them because they come up. Anyways, you know how, like, you, can, you have electrical motors and they can just turn and, you know, do all that cool stuff. They don't have a state per se. And what I mean by this is it's not the case that you can just tell it to go, like, 90 degrees to the right and then have any sort of confidence that, that actually happened. Uh, they kind of just on-off monsters. There are some asterisks if you are born to electrical engineering. I'm going to say stuff like this just because I don't want to overwhelm people. I just want to tell them what they need to know. So forgive me. Anyways, um, so basically servo gives us control. We can tell it to go up. We can tell it to go down. We can tell it to go further down. Most servos only travel about 180 degrees. Uh, the ones we're playing with today only travel 180 degrees. They're also super cheap. They're the most common servos that you're going to see if you're just playing around with Arduinos. Actually, a lot of starter kits even come with them. They're that popular, cheap, and pretty reliable. I've really enjoyed using them. Um, we're going to be using them on this tutorial to be able to flip the light switch. So let's get to the design bit of this.